And also you start to realize what kind of therapy is helpful for you. Like a conscious decision that you have to make. Um, because you have this impression of, okay, I'm broken. I'm going to somebody and then they're going to fix me. But that's not the case. Like if the therapy is not working, you have to change them. If the approach is not working, you have to change it. You have to have the intention of improving your emotional life, your psychological health, and your mental health. Otherwise, it's not a doctor that can treat you so you're now fixed, right? It takes some level of intent every time. Okay, what, what is it that you're doing? And my therapist was telling me, I'm always present in our conversations. And it's just, she told me this last week, like, um, you do you think you have ADHD, but you're also so present. I record all, all of our conversations and I just go back to them sometimes. And I think, well, who is this guy who's talking, which is me. <laughs> like, I started to really learn from, from myself. So that has been a immense help in the past two years. I was just like visualizing everything. And the fact that I didn't interrupt any part of it was uh, in parts, I was empathizing with it myself. Like it, it was at parts very similar to experiences that I had. And I was sort of like trying to like see both pictures um, mm. to, to kind of like ask questions uh, and also calling out how mature of you. Uh, and uh, I think this is, this is why, why I love recording these calls to see people the way they really are and their stories and hear their stories their, the way they, they really experienced it. Like the fact that you speak about um, the uh, thing that your therapist mentioned to you that, hey, you might, you're showing some narcissism. Um, and also at the same time, like I think it, the fact that um, there are characteristics and you painted the picture of a forest ranger for us in the beginning that I think mm -hmm. forest ranger should also be uh, in that category of jobs that you may see higher narcissism, maybe. Yes. But I think it just yes. it just paints a great picture of the real human being and the real people that we can be. Uh, so yes. I really thank you for that. Uh, and I think I think as far as uh, therapy goes, um, as I was again looking at both pictures in my head, uh, I think a lot of that is similar for me. Uh, growing up in Iran and I wasn't, I didn't grow up in a, um, a doctor's family. So I, I probably had even more stigmas around going to a therapy or what's wrong with you that you want to go to a therapy. So imagine all those stigma and the walls around it. And then for me, it took a very long time to be convinced that this is the path for me to find some answers and start at least observing myself. So the fact that uh, that that's kind of like the Delta between your story and that I want to call out. It's not even uh, for folks who are living in Iran, it's not even that easy, at least in, for our generation, the millennials in Iran, it wasn't that accepted to go to therapy. Now, I think that the conversation is different uh, thanks to all the folks uh, who are really on the ground trying to change this thing um, and provide therapy at much lower rate and more accessible and also like the amount of content that exists on social mm -hmm. media. 